Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another mask and then eventually another pair of leg wraps because obviously we made these too early before we had the quest, so I'm gonna need to go mining so I can make the leg wraps. Okay, I've been doing a lot of mining now, so I should have enough now to make the Brown Fantasy leg wraps. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So annoyed at myself for doing that as soon as I should have. Violet Rain, have you noticed Miss Foxhall always seems to turn up at the right moment? Yes, she has a knack for it. I think she's more than she just seems to be. I think... I think she might be a relative of mine. Why? Why do you think that? Just a hunch. She knows so much about me. She won't... can't tell me anything, but she's always there for me. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think she's in some kind of trouble, and it's up to me to help her. Hi. Well, next stop, the Skyriders. Okay, so, new quest, seek legends accepted. And we've leveled up to level 31. Okay. So let's see what our quest is. Okay, so, take your winged horse and find the Skyriders arena on top of the fantasy arena. And this is find the Skyriders. Okay, well that seems like that should be easy enough to start. Right, I'm going to go ahead here with this and retry this mission. Because this was the one that we failed. Uh, we're going to take Galaxy back into this and hopefully... Um, get this this time. Right, we're gonna go and take fire, and uh, we're gonna go and try and find the Sky Riders. Um, is what we're gonna go and do next. So we have to go to the top of the fantasy arena in order to do this. Right, right, fire. Well, let's go. We need to get up to the top of the fantasy arena, which is over here. I'm curious to see. Right, so is this the top here? Uh, oh wait! I see something above me. Right, let's move over a little bit. I think we're underneath whatever we need to go to. Oh, right, okay, yeah, we're in the wall. <laughs> okay, let's get out of the wall to start with. Okay, we're out of the wall. Oh wow, it's a big castle. Right, let's fly up a little bit far. Okay, there looks like we're that's where we're supposed to go to. Right, let's move over here a little bit. Have a better look at this place. Wow, this is like a really big castle up here. Some big parts of it I can't even see <laughs> at the minute. Even on the, the wide camera. Right, okay, let's maneuver our way onto this and this should complete this quest. Okay, let's see. Whoa, who are you? I don't know you. Where did you get that horse? Are you a Skyrider? I'll ask you the same, and again, who are you? I'm Violet Rain. I'm looking for the Skyriders. Anyone who rides a winged steed is a Skyrider. Your face, it's very familiar. Who is your father? I... I don't know. You don't know who or what you are. Come, you must prove yourself. Enter the arena. Okay, so quest Dermon Skyriders Test accepted. Okay, so compete in Skyriders Test, Flying Championship, and prove yourself. So we have to get one star in that, in that flying event. Okay, so this is the first flying event that we've had. I really don't think that my horse is ready to go into this right now, to be completely honest. Um, wow, okay, that's expensive. Yeah, because I feel like this is going to mean getting my horse a lot higher in level. Because Calamus is only 84 at the minute. We've kind of only just been skimming through current quests. So I think we'll have to level up a bit. Okay, let's see if we completed this quest with Galaxy. We did! Awesome. Okay, that's another story quest completed. That was the one that we failed before. Okay, so we got two black pearls for that. Oh, the little white deer. It's so cute. Um, I think we do another one. So, exploration. Uh, what are the requirements for this? Ah, oh, too high. Okay, so a little while ago they added fox pets into here. Um, into the pet packs. Now, there is the mystical fox. It's so adorable. Um, there's also another one in the aqua pack. I don't know if they're going to show up. They sort of just randomly rotate. There's the aqua pack fox. 
And then the chocolate pack fox is like a black and grey fox. It's very, very adorable as well. And then you have the lime pack, which I think is like a red fox. and It's super adorable as well. I don't know if it's going to show us all of them, though. Because it sort of randomly goes through. But the cotton candy fox is here for 113 black pearls. And I have enough. And I have been saving these black pearls up for another reason. But I can't not get this because it's just too cute. So we're going to get the cotton candy fox. <laughs> because I have no restraint. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and equip that one. And we're going to give this a name. Right, I'm calling her Ruby. Let's have a look at her pet traits. So she's got night vision is her first one. She's already unlocked that. And the next one she'll unlock is Predator, level 17. Then she has Dig at 34. And then after that she's Cold Resistance at level 51. And then she has Swim, which um, Galaxy already has. Galaxy, I think that was the first one. And then we've got Smell Tracking, which is unlocked at level 85. Um, I absolutely think this one is so cute. It really, really is. I really like this fox. It's adorable. It's definitely a favorite of mine, I have to say. I really like some of the other foxes, though, as well. I think the foxes are actually some of the nicest ones, collectively. So, yeah, I really like Ruby. She's super adorable. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to work on leveling her up a little bit. Okay, well, as you can see, just got some four black pearls from that um, social quest. I'm trying to get my black pearls up again after I spent 113 on this fox, so <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do as many of these social quests as possible and uh, as many competitions as I can as well. Um, I've been using um, Clematis for those and um, obviously I'm still trying to level Clematis up a lot as well. Okay, the event's over. We already know that we got the black pearls, but we got some apples, some gold, and we got four black pearls from that. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm just going to have to keep working to get a lot more black pearls and that because we have a long way to go to get our black pearls up to where they were because we just kind of used them all to buy that fox. So yeah. Right, we'll continue training Galaxy here. Right, three, two, one. Okay, go. Right. Some of these... Are a little bit different. Some of the like um, shapes you have to do are very curvy and then other ones are like very much like this. They're very straight, a lot of straight lines and so forth. I don't know which I actually find harder. I think I find the curvy line ones harder. There's one across the river that I hate doing because it's like there's a lot of curls and swirls in it. <laughs> this for some reason is a little bit easier. So I'm trying to get uh, Galaxy and Ruby leveled up a little bit so that I can uh, eventually take them in to do the next part of the story quest. Okay, so Galaxy's leveled up to level 20. Right, well, we'll go over to one of the other uh, pet areas and uh, maybe work on Ruby a little bit as well. Right, so Ruby is now level 20 as well. Okay, that's perfect. Right, let's go in here. Look at the silver fox. That's so cute as well. Right. We're not going to buy anymore. We need to just save our stuff right now. <laughs> we can't really be doing anything silly. Okay, so we've unlocked um, the second part uh, for each of our pets now. So we'll have to work on getting to level 34 with both of them in the near future so that they can unlock their third ability. So Ruby and Galaxy have now got their second um, skill, which is perfect. It'll make it a little bit easier for us when we go in to do different uh, story missions and daily missions and things like that. So let's go in here to the pet quest. Okay, exploration. North invites your pets to ride on his back as they accompany Sam on his journey back to the tunnels. Approaching the tunnels, the Frisian becomes tremendously restless. North rears and makes such a commotion as to warn Sam of some impending doom. Soothing North, Sam leaves him near the tunnel entrance while he and your pets venture a bit deeper in. Hours pass, then days turn into weeks. What started out as a small in inquiry of the tunnels has developed into a three-week-long investigation. Inside, all forms of light seem to be quenched out. Time soon has become irrelevant as the, risk as the rising and setting of the sun go by unseen. Their only indicator of measurement is the need for rest and stirring hunger for food. Much to Sam's delight, your pets find some nourishment from a nearby stream uh, to stain them on their journey. After losing one of your pets down a, slide, down a side passage for a, what seems like days, uh, they regroup and begin to scratch uh, small markings into the passage walls to track their movements. Sam eventually is forced to break away, being too large to fit down the smaller tunnels himself. 
His heavy footsteps in the dark are sorely missed, as they served as a great sense of comfort and security amongst the little band of friends. As your pets venture deeper into the tunnels, they see what seems like eyes peering at them from, from a distance. Just as quickly as they appeared, they vanish into darkness. This causes the group to begin to question if it's merely the darkness playing tricks on them. On his own, Sam wanders around, eventually completely losing his way. All he can think of is his family's legacy of never failing a harvest. He cannot bear to imagine being the first to feel a harvest. Eventually guided by his ears, he journeys along a stream into a series of silent halls. Turning the corner, he sees a beam of light shining down on what appears to be a large nest. Moving closer, his skin begins to crawl. Brushing his neck, he sees what looks like small spiders uh, falling to the floor. Scoring off, it is uh, consumed amongst a flood of other spiders that covered the passage floor. Frozen stiff, he f hears a tapping sound, and as a gi gigantic round white silhouette crawls out of a wide crack in the wall. Stepping back, Sam hears the little spiders screech under his boot. Instead of heading back into the dark, he bolts forward towards the opening of light in the nearby corner. To his, power, to his horror, the ledge is just out of reach. Then, to his surprise, he feels something strong grab his arm and pull him out of the tunnel to the surface. Laying on his back, Sam sees North give a tremendous kick, sending the ghastly pale round insect back inside its hole. With a shrill cry, the clamour um, dies down in the darkness. Then, to the farmer's surprise, the pets emerge from a nearby hole, as if they were beckoned. With the weight of the situation laying on his shoulder, Sam looks at the party, turning his head in the direction of the farm. He makes a small nod, as if to himself and pulls out a parchment of paper and begins to scribble down a message um, in much haste. De desperately handing the note to your pets, he requests its delivery to Margaret. While there, he also asks that you return with his equipment to a better deal with, these na with this nasty infestation. Can you help uh, the farmer retrieve his equipment and deliver the note to Margaret before the ciders return? Oh, spiders, right? Well, we're going to go ahead and do this mission. Alright, Galaxy and Ruby, hope you don't mind spiders. So, okay, condition night time was fulfilled. I don't think about I don't think heavy lifting will be. I don't think either of my pets have that ability. But we can start that mission and that's two uh, black pearls and then some XP. So hopefully hopefully we'll be lucky with this. Okay, let's see if we've managed to do that. Oh we did, okay, mission success. Okay, that's good. Right. So that's two black pearls. Right, okay. Let's see what the next mission is for requirements level 30. Okay. Well, we're going to have to work a lot on both of our pets in order to do that. I think I might do some of the daily missions um, because there's decent XP and uh, rewards and so forth with these. And it's a way to kind of get things. You don't have to be there. You know, you send your pets on these and you can come back later, which is quite good. Don't think that's going to increase our chances, but. Oh, come on, Galaxy, go over there, please. Okay. That's only slightly increased our chances. I don't think we have much chance of this one, but we'll give it a try and we'll see. Alright, let's see if we manage to complete this. This had quite a low chance. Oh, we did actually do it. Okay. I wasn't expecting that because we only met one of the conditions. And even at that, it was quite um, a low chance, really, of managing to do that. So, a thousand stone for that, as well as the XP that we got. Right, I think we'll do another one of these possibly, because we can't do this yet, because we still need to get level 30. Um, so I think we'll probably work on one of the daily missions. Okay, there's one for Opal. Um, let's see, put you in this, I think. Some of these are like a couple of minutes to take, some of them take a couple of hours. So I think it's best to do the short ones first, and then leave the long one whenever you're not going to be on the game for a while. This is a decent success chance on this, so I think we have a decent chance of actually uh, doing this one. Alright, let's see. Yes, he's did it. Figured it was a good chance because it was up around 86% for this, so. Oh, look at the red fox. That's so cute. I want that red fox so much, but I'm just going to save my black pearls for now. Right, we're going to take Calamitous here. Calamitous, I've got to level 99. Um, Clamatus was, I think, on level, like, 80-something, maybe 84 or something like that, um, before. So, we've obviously got her a lot higher up in level. I want to try and get her over a level 100 before we go in to try and do the Skyriders. So, I've got plenty of apples stored up here, so. 
I'm gonna go ahead and feed those all to her. Okay, she's over level 100. Let's see how far these apples take her. Okay, 101. And 102. Okay, so. No more for that. Right. Hopefully, we might be able to do this. So. Okay, so now we need to go over and do the first ever Skyrider test. So. This is quite expensive, so it's 7,500. So this will be our first attempt at this. I have no idea how to do this, but let's go. Okay, right. Dash button. Oh. Okay. Kind of reminds me of Quidditch in Harry Potter. <laughs> Except I don't actually have to steer the horse, I just have to do the dashing right, but I don't think I'm doing the dashing right. I don't think I'm doing this right, because I seem to be using a huge amount of energy. I don't feel like I should be using this much. And the circles are kind of going red when I do this as well. I don't think I'm getting this right. Hmm. And I have no idea when it's going to finish either, because it doesn't say. Okay, nope, that was not what we're supposed to do, I don't think. This is confusing me, more than the dressage confused me, <laughs> actually. <laughs> hmm, I, I have a funny feeling we're gonna fail this. If anybody has done this already and wants to give me any tips, you know, feel free, because, yeah, we can't continue. Um, bit disappointed about that, but I think one, I might just need more stamina, or it could also be a case of I'm not doing it right. I have a funny feeling I'm not doing it correctly. Um, so yeah, we'll have to retry that. If you have any tips, if you've done this already, please leave them uh, below. That would be very, very helpful. Anyway, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day, and bye-bye!